Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. So in the first function, we have f composed with g of 3. Again, I find it's just so much easier to think about it when we just write it in this other notation, f of g of 3. Now, going to the graph, what is g of 3? So you go to the pink graph, which is the graph of your g, and what are we being given? The x or the y is 3. Yeah, the x is 3, so the y is 0. We're being referred to this pair of coordinates, 3, 0 here. So really, we're being asked to plug 0 in to our function f. So that means that we have to look for where the function in blue, the f function, has an x value of 0. What's the y value? So 1, yes. 0, 1 is on the function f. So that means f of 0 is actually 1. And we're done. Okay, so do that for the other two. Let's compare what you got. So I have g of f of 0. Okay, so what they're telling me is that I have the x-coordinate of the function f is 0. So if I look on the function f, the x-coordinate is 0, the y-coordinate is 1. So in other words, f of 0 is 1. So I'm going to replace f of 0 with 1. So I have my g function, which is the outer function, and inside of it I now have f of 0 is 1. So now I have the, an x value on my g function. So I go um, and look for the x value 1 on g, and what do you see? Good. So if you go to 1 and go down to the pink graph, we go through the point 1, negative 2, which means that in a different in function notation, that's saying g of 1 is negative 2. So this is negative 2. And lastly, we have g of, just to emphasize, I'm going to make this in red here, f of negative 4. How do we find f of negative 4? We go to the f function, right? And we look for when x is negative 4. We're looking at this point here. What are the coordinates of that point? Negative 3. Good. Negative 4, negative 3. So we have g, the outer function, of what's being plugged in is actually that negative 3. So this becomes the x-coordinate of the function g. So if we go to the function g and we look for negative 3, what is the corresponding y value? Negative 1. Good. So that's the same as saying that g of negative 3 is negative 1. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it. 